Okay. Let's go. I'm signing. Give Belan a good, give, give him a man, give him a good customer. Thank you. Thank you. I, 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 I didn't want to keep you here all day. I, was go, I had more, but I didn't want to oh, keep you. Oh, well, bring it on. <laughs> I didn't want to keep us. We was going to be here for a couple hours if I kept, you know. All right, but, look, let's talk, let's, talk, let's talk reality. Number one, if, if, if I go through all this with Belan and, and it, it gets to be to the point where I'm thinking that this ain't, I, I'm not getting through to him, okay? I may have to go back to the sales desk. But if I spend enough time legitimately trying to justify these numbers, do you think I might be able to bring him back a small discount as opposed to a big discount? Mm -hmm. Look, I know we can't get every single customer to pay full price every single time. That should be our goal. But I know, I'm, again, I've been doing this for 45 years. I'm really good at this. I'm, I sit down in front of real live customers. Can I get most of them to pay? Yeah, I can't get all of them. Do some customers just need a victory? Yeah. Yes. yeah, some customers need some sort of give back from us. But when you take the time to go through it, and by the way, did, I, did, did you ever feel like I was pressuring you? Mm, no, I felt like you just cut me off a few times. But, <laughs> but, but no pressure at, at but, all. But definitely. was I persistent? Yeah, very persistent. And I don't, I, I, in fact, when I send this video to you, I want you to count the number of times I ask him to buy the car. Mm -hmm. Because one of the things I find that good sa good salespeople do, I mean, they make an attempt to justify the number, and then they finish with like, "How does that sound? What do you think? Do you understand?" Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, mm -hmm. ask them to buy a car again. And yeah. So what Bellin was doing, like with a with a customer like that, I'd probably instead of going over because he's nitpicking on details, I'll just ask him if he wants a piece of mine ensure them the benefit, the motor trim, then I provide it with a piece of mine. Well, if you'll remember, Andrew, mm -hmm. I did that first. Yeah. Okay? I did that first. Yeah, and um, then he reinforced it. <clears throat> yeah. Right. In fact, I went back, see, because I wrote it down, I could go back to it. I could say, this is all complimentary. Because I know, from having done this for almost three years here now, that if a customer thinks they're paying three thousand or two thousand dollars for six months worth of select five, that's going to be a bitch, and that's not the case. If they think they're paying two thousand dollars for a six month, seventy five hundred mile mechanical warranty, that ain't going to fly. What are they paying for? The, the process. The process. That's why. Throughout the engagement, starting with a phone call, email, or text, or certainly at meet and greet, you want to be constantly reinforcing uh, yeah. with the customer how thorough our inspections and reconditioning processes are. Yeah. Okay? All right, now, um, I've done this between the last week.